The level of family violence in New Zealand is a national disgrace. We have one of the highest rates in the entire world. It's time to act on changing the law so that we improve the situation for women who are suffering extreme violence. We're improving the law of self-defence so that it better protects women who are suffering extreme violence from abusive partners. Our fundamental question was whether self-defence is actually being applied properly in these cases. Our conclusion, it is not. Some of these people should have in fact been acquitted rather than convicted of manslaughter. Family violence can affect everyone in the family. So our reforms will help children protecting their mother or the mother protecting their children. There's been a lot of uh, examples where women have really suffered by the, the way the criminal law has been applied against them. The current law does not properly recognise the situation of women long-term violence, extreme violence, and they end up killing their abuser just to save themselves. Many women are in extremely violent relationships and they're driven to, for self-defence or desperation to kill their abuser. It's the only way out for them. It's very clear that in some families there is extreme violence. Women are driven to desperation to escape their circumstances and that sometimes means killing their abuser. Australia and the UK have reformed their law to protect women in extreme violent situations. New Zealand has not done that, that's why the Law Commission has done this report. Our proposals really bring our law into line with that of Australia and the UK. It's a modest change but it recognises a special situation, uh, particularly of women in extreme violent abusive relationships. Most of these cases, uh, women are charged with murder, but in reality, juries don't actually like convicting women suffering extreme violence of murder. More likely, it'll be manslaughter, occasionally an acquittal. Our proposals could have led to a different outcome in the case of Daryl Kirk. Instead of being convicted of manslaughter, she might have been acquitted on the basis of self-defense. Society needs to understand the circumstances of these extremely violent families. People are driven to desperation to defend themselves or else they will be killed themselves. There needs to be a much deeper understanding of the impact of family violence, particularly in women in abusive relationships. New Zealand's behind on this. We need to do more education, uh, with particularly of judges, practitioners, lawyers, social workers. The current law of self-defence only applies to imminent attacks. That doesn't work for women suffering sustained violence day in, day out. We have to change the law to recognise their situation. The Law Commission looked really carefully at partial defences. We decided that the issues are better dealt with by sentencing. In many of these cases, there's been long-term abuse, lots of convictions. So three strikes can mean real injustice. A person who might otherwise have got home detention can actually get life imprisonment. That is grossly unfair. 